So far in our channel, we have spoken of so many of our ancestors, how they were found and how they looked like. But did you ever wonder how they ended up in the places where they were discovered from? Well, this is the video for that. We are going to name a few of our ancestors and tell you how they probably passed, according to the Australian Museum. Number 1. Paranthropus Skullcap SK-54 The teenager probably didn't see it coming. One moment, they were carrying on with life as usual in South Africa circa 1.8 million years ago. The next, blinding pain, a crunch and then darkness, death at the pause of one of prehistory's greatest carnivores and just like that, it became a leopard's lunch. A 2 million year old fossil from Swartkrans in South Africa has provided some interesting information about the death of one young individual. The skull cap has been pierced, leaving two small round holes. These holes have been perfectly matched to the canine teeth in the jaw of an ancient species of leopard. It seems that a leopard caught the adolescent and dragged its prey up into a tree to eat, just as modern leopards do today. The leftovers from this meal fell out of the tree and dropped into a cavity in the ground below. This cavity was part of a cave system that trapped the debris from many predators' meals, the bones from which were later preserved as fossils. Number 2. Tong Child Ever since this fossilized skull of an infant hominid was found at Tong, scientists have wondered what the child was doing there and how it died and since this fossil was found to have dated all the way back to 2.5 million years ago, this makes it the oldest murder mystery. The Tong child belonging to Australopithecus africanus was only a tiny 3-year-old when it was seized by an eagle 2.5 million years ago. We know an eagle or another bird of prey took this child because puncture marks and depression fractures to the skull are similar to those that occur on the prey of eagles today. Microscopic analysis supports this by showing scratches on the skull produced by clawed talons. Number 3. Takana Boy Belonging to Homo ergaster, this fossil which dated approximately 1.5 million years ago when studied was found to belong to a boy between 11 to 13 years old which died of gum disease. His jaw shows that he had a diseased gum where a deciduous molar tooth had been shed. An infection seems to have set in and he probably died of blood poisoning. Number 4. Carpway Cranium Carpway Cranium or the Broken Hill Skull belonging to Homo rhodesiensis is another individual who lived about 400,000 years ago, probably died as a result of severe tooth decay and gum disease. The skull of this ancient human had many large tooth cavities and abscesses which affected the jawbone in which the teeth were embedded. This individual was unusual because ancient humans rarely showed such significant dental decay, probably because human diets were generally low in sugar until the beginnings of agriculture about 10,000 years ago. Number 5. KNM ER1808 The partial skeleton of a woman was found in 1973. She died about 1.7 million years ago from a painful condition that may have been caused by vitamin A poisoning. This cause of death is suggested by the layer of abnormal bone which covered the bones in her arms and legs. This abnormal bone is similar to that found in modern humans with vitamin A poisoning. Excess vitamin A in the diet is toxic to our bodies and causes the tissues around the bone to tear, bleed and form huge clots. Abnormal bone tissue like that seen in KNM ER1808 then begins to grow. To have been poisoned by vitamin A, the individual's diet must have included large quantities of food high in this vitamin. 
Analysis of the individual's teeth shows she had been a meat eater, so it is possible that her poisoning resulted from eating too many livers taken from carnivorous animals. Well, that is all guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. For more videos like these, check our channel out and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.